evening, legislation moving through the state house would tighten Indiana's laws on background checks for teachers and school employees. It is a story that News Channel 15's Holly Campbell has been following for weeks, and she joins us now with what these bills would do. Well, we really started looking into this issue after a Garrett teacher was arrested for battery and public intoxication in Indianapolis last month. We did some digging and found he served jail time for a DUI in another state. So we wanted to know what kind of screening teachers in Indiana go through before they enter the classroom and what happens when background checks show a conviction. Under Indiana law, every teacher must go through a criminal background check in search of the sex offender registry. The hiring school district will be notified of any arrests or convictions in any state. Background checks can be either fingerprint based or public record based. Right now, districts have three months to do the background checks on new teachers, something the Department of Education says helps districts make quick hires. If you don't hire somebody until right before school starts, you need a little bit of time to get that done and you obviously need them in the classroom instructing students. So what happens when the background check shows an arrest or conviction? There are several convictions that would cause someone's teaching license to be immediately revoked, but some convictions, like DUIs, are taken case by case. It's still left up to the, up to the school so they can still hire that person if they had a DWI or were arrested for whatever else, shoplifting, whatever it might have been. They can still hire them, but at least they know what they're hiring. Those kinds of judgment decisions are really policy decisions at the local level that really would reflect the values of the community and the school community. Cruz says there are a combined six bills focusing on making schools safer for students. One bill would require districts to call in applicants' references. Another would require the background check to be done in two months, not three. And others focus on inappropriate relationships with students, something we've seen over the years in Northeast Indiana. Seems like we've had more and more of these incidents happening in the last several years, and so I think it makes it all more important for these bills to become laws. If these all pass, which has a good possibility these will all pass into law, I think, I think we will have much better laws now, and I think we'll firm those things up in Indiana. will be more like a leader instead of a follower. Another bill going through the state house would make all employees go through a background check, something the Department of Education supports, and another would require checks every five years.